gorgeous. <laughs> Awake. Give me one second. There we go. I just hide the boxes that I've been needing to take out. Hi, how's everybody doing? I did not just wake up right now, hence Z makeup and the energy. But it's like 10 a.m. right now. I feel like showing you guys an update on the furniture that I've collected in the past two months. Wow, it's been two months since. I moved in. It's coming along very, very infant stages of how I want the space to look as a whole, but I'm just figuring it out right now. If you're in the same boat as me, where you feel like your home isn't complete yet, just know it's okay to have it be an ongoing process. Social media makes it seem like everyone moves in, gets their furniture in a week, and has this amazing space instantly, but it's not that way at all, unless you're like a trust fund baby. I get a little caffeinated. I've been doing this thing that I learned in my soul cycle classes. What you do is you take a deep breath in, clasp all the energy in your hands at the top. Think of two things that you're grateful for. Be very specific. Breathe that in, breathe out, and bring it to your heart center and just take all that energy, lead your day with it. Now, is it corny? Yes. But has it made my life better? Yes. So take what you will. <laughs> mm -hmm. That shit feels so good. If you ever feel tension in your throat, do a little bit of meditative humming where you feel your entire body vibrate from the noise that you're making. Feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. I'm feeling good today. Larry June song. Let's start off with my bed. Come. All right, this has to be one of my favorite corners of my entire loft for many reasons. It is just a corner dedicated to rest and repair. Whenever I jump onto this bed, my cortisol levels are very low on the charts. You know what I mean? My doctor would be very proud. I've slept on a Casper bed, but I wanted to give Nectar a try. Bravo. It does the job wonderfully, and it was less expensive than the Casper bed with better perks. I'm a Nectar gal for now until I decide to try something new. This beautiful olive green bedding with taupe linen sheets. To say I'm obsessed is an understatement. I've always been used to like very white hotel-esque bedding. Something in me was like, let's try to add some color. And I'm so happy I did. Right, so for my bed frame, what I did was I purchased king size Floyd bed for my queen mattress intentionally because I wanted extra platform space to kind of create a faux Donald Judd platform bed without selling my first unborn child. Yay. But I do have to say that building this was so easy. I've built plenty of beds, loft beds for the time I shared an apartment with four other people, Ikea beds. What I loved so much about this process of building out Floyd's platform bed is that there was no drilling. And then also if and when I do decide to move, I'm not dreading the process of taking this apart because of how simple they've made it. Although it was heavy, so I definitely recommend calling a friend to help lift the boards. Shit. walking around on this platform with the extra space, at times it does feel risky. But what I did was I padded the bottom of the board that I walk on the most with these meditation pads that I have. It added great support, but it's not like I'm doing jumping jacks on them, you know? It's like I stand on them for like two minutes while I'm making my bed and that's pretty much it. And I feel like the number one concern about this type of bed is hitting your shins. For the time that I've had it, I've never hit my shins on this. And in my opinion, I'm quite the klutz. But yeah, 
no bruised shins so far. Before we move on, I have to rave about these pillows. Not these ones that came with the nectar bundle that I got with the bed, but these pillows that I purchased three weeks ago. I could fall asleep right now. Oh my god, it's so comfortable. Oh. If you're like me, one, you get really hot while you sleep. Two, the height of your pillow really matters because I get crooks in my neck very often. Every time I lay on this, I just, I instantly feel taken care of, you know? One of the best features about this pillow is that it's customizable, so you can take out or add in as much filling as you'd need. I haven't taken out anything yet since how it came in, like its default height. I do want to play around with it. It's just, I love it so much. I'll link these down below. I'll link everything I can down below in case you're curious. This is my best friend. And now let's move on to this lounge area. I guess that's what I'll call it for now. Let's talk about this coffee table set. It's a nesting table it's designed by Marcel Brewer for Noel and it's called the Laccio table. I had been scouting this set for so long. I bought the small nesting coffee table from a local New York vintage designer furniture collector. What's the word for that? I guess just like furniture collector, but I'll link his store down below. And I was like, I, I need to complete this set. So I pulled the trigger and bought the long one, but I don't regret it one bit. I have a candle on it that I bought from the foreigner coffee shop and it's sitting on like this chrome plate that I got. Oh, with this mug actually, it's supposed to be like this tea and coffee. All right, so my couch, it is Ivory Boucle Togo style couch. Emphasis on style. <laughs> Found her on Facebook Marketplace and I was like, I have to have her. She was in such good condition. I just cleaned her up. She literally feels brand new. Obviously design is important, right? I was concerned about comfort. When I sit on this couch, I can just space out and be unbothered. Like that's what a couch should do for you. I originally wanted a black couch. However, as you can see, I get lots of sunlight in here. And I was just thinking, I'm already gonna have lots of black furniture. And the last thing I want is a black couch where I sit on it during the summer and it just burns my ass. Maybe it's an excuse for me to love this one a little extra because I did originally prefer a black color. But I think this, just makes sense for my space now. But yeah, don't skip out on Facebook Marketplace or Craigslist. Obviously, please purchase with a discerning eye and be on high alert for weirdos. Um, lots of those out there, but... All right, let's move on to my frame TV. Okay, so this TV has a very special place in my heart because I used to work on the marketing team for this TV specifically, among a few other things, but this was my main project. The story is kind of crazy, but I worked in this like secret Samsung loft in Tribeca from 2017 to 2018, and this place was decked out in Samsung frame TVs. But I remember coming in every day with a sense of awe and like excitement that I got to be in this environment and had this like magical aspect Aspect. That's just the feeling that I've always associated with the frame TV and so now I have one and it's just it's just a very full circle moment Also, if you decide to get this TV or any TV that you might have I highly recommend purchasing an easel and putting your TV on that instead of mounting it into the wall Unless you have like a dedicated space that you want to keep your TV in I love that I can swivel the screen around so if I'm on my bed and I want to watch something I can do that this blanket right here is so fucking comfortable. It's weighted enough where it's not too heavy, so it can be used year round. The texture is just so nice. I washed it. And then next to my couch is the Herman Miller Eames low table. These little low tables are so good for putting anywhere around your house. This rug, I'm gonna be honest with you, I fucking hate it. I bought it in a crunch and that's just what happens when you buy things and don't think it through that much, but it had good reviews. It's very uneven at the bottom. I've tried straightening it out many times. It's just not good. Don't get it. Do not get this. This part of the apartment is an area where I can tune out the world, play on words, get it? Cause music, tune, okay. 
Um, I've made this the corner where I can just feel like a boss. When the day is winding down, I come over here, I recap my day, play a record, and just stare out the window at the birds and the trees. This storage system right here is the USM Hauler modular storage system. And I purchased this second hand as well. These open down and you can store things away and then kind of display things on this end. So I have my Marshall speaker and the records that I own right now, a little Stussy ashtray tray up there and my Audio Technica record player. And then I have the Wasili chair. I know it's so overplayed and you see it so much online. I mean, you can see why the design on this is impeccable and it makes me use words like impeccable. Here's the thing, I always go back and forth on wanting something and sometimes, most of the times, the reason holding me back from getting what I want is because I'm like, oh, everybody has it. Or it's like, oh, it's so overdone. Like who fucking cares? If you like it, you truly like it, do you. And I'm so happy with the purchase. It's not like I feel not unique anymore, but no, I fucking love it. The next nook of the space I'm gonna show you guys, I need input on what to do with it. It's a little awkwardly planned out. I kind of have an idea, but it's just, I don't know. It's a little meh for me right now. Well, actually before we get into the last part of the video, your girl's hungry right now. Let's make a snack. I think I'm gonna do some yogurt with berries and granola and honey. That's like my go-to snack. Berries, berries and cream, berries and cream. Do you guys know where that's from? The berries and cream dude? Berries and cream, berries and cream. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I'm salivating. move on to this nook of my apartment. Okay, I think it's time to take off the robe. It's getting kind of hot now. So with my old apartments, I used to be really bad at knowing how to separate the purpose of each space in the apartment. Over time, a space can start to feel very, I don't want to say dull, but a little confusing and a little foggy, especially if you work from home and the feelings of stress as well as rest kind of jump around throughout your day. So it was critical for me to have a space where when I'm here, I'm zoned in. My my focus is very narrow when I'm sitting here. A few essentials for my perfect workspace is having some sort of window for sunlight. The thing is, I didn't want a view that was so busy. Originally, I had the desk at my middle window looking out at the street view, but I noticed there was just so much happening, like cars passing by, people walking their cute ass dogs, squirrels. It was just too distracting for me. I'm a person that's working to fix my focus. So this window was perfect because the view that I have is just of another building. There's enough greenery around that makes me feel so alive. Occasionally, I'll see a plane go by, but that's pretty much it. Like, I don't see anybody walking. Cars don't pass by this way, so it's very quiet on this side. And it's been working out perfectly. I've been doing 90 minute work bouts where that's like 90 minutes of doing my dedicated task and I'm actually getting shit done. It's crazy how curating and being very intentional with each pocket of space you have, even if it's just two inches of space. Oh, this is like two feet. Two feet of space. It's very important. I learned this from Jay Shetty. He even had like a meditation spot in his like 500 square foot New York apartment. Super huge tip that I will always try to implement. But of course, there are times where I'll decide to edit a little bit on my bed because I want to lay down on my stomach, things like that. But for the most part, this is where I'm doing most of the work and my bed is where I'm doing most of the resting and relaxing. There are a few things on my work desk that I really just need to share with y'all. Okay, how many of you guys have an air purifier? If if you were like me before, I thought air purifiers were kind of gimmicky. I don't know. 
That's very ignorant on my end. I was just like, purify air? Can I just open the window? But because I live in a space with lots of brick walls, there's a lot of dust circulating. I vacuum every day, I dust every other day. And so I was like, let me just try out this air purifier situation. And holy fuck, it has changed the way that I breathe, the way that I sleep. It's this little guy right here, I have it running. I feel like I'm breathing fresh spring air. <laughs> but I have this running at my desk while I'm working and then I move it to my bed area when it's time to go to bed. I'll probably get a bigger one as time goes on and invest in something that covers a lot more square footage, but man, air purifiers. Another thing that I've added to my work desk that just mm, is having a plant and an oil diffuser. This is the plant that I have here for now. Sometimes I'll catch myself talking to my plants. It's 100% a thing. The oil diffuser. Citrus notes are known to wake up your senses and revitalize. So I use Muji's orange scent. I believe that's the one. It smells so good. It can be strong. So start off with just a couple drops before you add and I think the instructions are like 10 to 15 drops. So I really took into account my breathing because that was one of the main problems I had this past year. I think I really equipped myself for some optimal deep breaths. Yeah. Keeping my desk very simple, very clean, very clear. Very unlike me from the past where I just kind of let clutter clutter up and I didn't realize how much it was affecting my workflow. Yes. Oh, and also I have this beautiful Noguchi 10A lamp. Speaking of Noguchi lamps, y'all see that corner right there behind the Eames chair? Yeah, those are all lamps that I need to hang up. This is the big kahuna here. And the 55A. I just went to the museum and bought the 30A because my vision is to build out a mini Noguchi installation and I'm thinking of putting it right here like have this white wall encompass the installation this is the inspo here and this is something to invest in I can't not try so I've just been having the membership and then looking out for the sales I've been adding a fire to the fuel for my little art project the only thing that's holding me back from getting it up there I don't have like a 10 feet tall ladder so I might hire either a task rabbit or ask my building super to to borrow his ladder. This corner behind me, I'm not really feeling it. I don't think I have the right pieces to curate the Niels Yamogard shelf yet, so it just doesn't feel right. This is what the shelf is looking like right now. I gotta think about this more. We'll circle back. And I have a full body mirror here for good lighting. And yeah, I think I'm gonna end it here. So we made it through the updated furniture tour. Kind of missing the bathroom, but I think I'll do that in like a separate video. I feel like I'm still getting to know my likes and dislikes of what I want in my home. I'm really trying to take my time with it this time. Also allowing myself to be more free flowing with what I decide to include or take out of the loft. I think one of the most surprising things that I've noticed in myself from living alone, improving the quality of my life in comparison to my past self is that I feel safe and okay in silence. I love having shows in the background. I love having music on, FaceTiming with friends. The moments where I do notice that the room is very quiet while I'm like cleaning or cooking. Like last night I cooked in silence, like complete silence on purpose. I felt like the activity that I was doing was just enough to fill the space. I didn't need a distraction from what was happening right in front of me, which was my cooking last night. I think if you're in your 20s or your 30s or honestly whatever age where you feel like you have a lot of chaotic moments in your life try to do a daily activity in silence so yesterday when i was able to face the silence it felt like i was facing a monster it felt like i was finally letting myself be okay with things and that could be a little too deep but i have to head out to my pilates class in 20 minutes so i'm gonna get ready for that <sighs> i'm about to go sweat my ass off in class now really don't want to go but you don't make progress unless you push yourself to do the hard thing okay that's it for me today i'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>